Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. So I have a small video based on Bessel's function. So first of all, you must know the Bessel's equation. So remember the differential equation x squared into y double dash plus x into y dash plus x squared minus n square into y equal to zero is called the Bessel's equation. Now remember, if you want to solve the Bessel's equation, you have to use Frobenius method. Now remember, there are three different cases in Frobenius method itself. That is, the indicial equation will have distinct roots, equal roots, etc. etc. So, um, this is easy to solve because here the indicial equation will have two distinct roots. Anyway, you can try to solve the equation by yourself because I'm going to give only the important part of this Bessel's equation uh, mark point of view. Anyway, when you solve this Bessel's equation, you'll see that the two solutions are a naught x power n. You have to by heart this 1 minus uh, x squared by 4 into n plus 1 plus 1 by 4 squared and if you want you can put one factorial here yeah n plus 1 n plus 2 times 2 factorial uh, and here it will be x power 4 and then minus x power 6 by 4 cube then it will be n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 3 and 3 factorial plus etc so you remember uh, one of the solutions of this Bessel's equation is a naught into x power n and this thing. And the second solution is y is equal to a naught. Now all you have to do is you have to put um, x, this, you have to replace this n with minus n. So we end up with 1 minus x squared by 4 into minus n plus 1 into 1 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 square minus n plus 1 minus n plus 2 2 factorial minus etc etc so basically if you remember the first solution you can get the second solution by replacing n with minus n so once more the this equation is called Bessel's equation and Bessel's equation cannot be solved by the usual power series method we need Frobenius method to solve Bessel's equation. Anyway, on solving, we will get these two as the solution because the indicial equation will give you the roots n and minus n and that is why we get these two solutions. Okay, now what we do is just like in Legender, just like in Legender, do you remember how we constructed Legender's polynomial? By putting special values. So, we put the special value a naught is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n gamma n plus 1 in the first solution and in the second solution of course it will be a naught equal to 1 by 2 power minus n gamma minus n plus 1 so once you plug in this value once you plug in these values here we will get the, the Bessel's equation of first kind denoted by j n x and the Bessel's function of the second kind j minus n x. So once more you have to by heart this value j n x will be a naught x power n and what will be inside 1 minus x square by 4 times n plus 1 into 1 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 square n plus 1 n plus 2 into 2 factorial minus etc and what should we do with a naught we should replace it with 1 by 2 power n gamma n plus 1 so this is j n x now uh, once you take this inside and simplify etc we get the summation version that also you have to buy heart this will be sigma r is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r by r factorial into n plus r factorial 
x by 2 the whole power n plus 2r. So basically this is the expanded version and this is the summation version. You have to by heart both. Okay. Now if you want j minus nx, the second function, it's very simple. Wherever you see n, you replace it with minus n. Okay. We will do two simple problems that has been repeated many times. That is, they ask you to find j 1 by 2x and j minus 1 by 2x. Remember, the most repeated question, if you check the question papers, will be j 1 by 2, j 3 by 2, j 5 by 2, j minus 1 by 2, j minus 3 by 2, j minus 5 by 2. These are the most repeated questions. But now and then they ask uh, other, uh, other things also like the reduction formula for um, j and x, the relation between j and x etc. That you can learn if you have time. But if you are looking for minimum things to study then you study this j 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 5 by 2 etc. But remember when you select problems uh, there will be a huge risk in exam. Don't forget that. Please remember the rule, so easy. Have you ever heard of the rule, so easy? So easy in the sense, sine in its expansion will have odd powers. And the even powers will be for cosine. Okay, And this is the memory aid to remember the expansion of sine x, cos x and the hyperbolic functions. So, look at this, sine will have odd powers, so x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus x power 7 by 7 factorial plus etc. And even powers are for cosine, so it will be 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial minus etc. So this is how you by heart sin x and cos x and if you want the hyperbolic equivalence all you have to do is you have to put plus 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 and that will be the hyperbolic function uh, sin hyperbolic and cos hyperbolic. Okay so uh, we will derive j 1 by 2x and j minus 1 by 2x in this video. Okay so what you do first is first of all you write the value of j and x. What is j and x? a naught x power n dot 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 where a naught is 1 by 2 to the power n gamma n plus 1 and there is one x power n and 1 minus come on what is that x square divided by 4 into n plus 1 plus x power 4 divided by 4 squared n plus 1 n plus 2 into 2 factorial if you want you can write more terms yeah. minus etc now what you do is you put n equal to 1 by 2 so we get j 1 by 2 x is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 1 by 2 now 1 by 2 plus 1 will be gamma 3 by 2 and here we have x to the power 1 by 2 and 1 minus x square divided by 4 times 1 by 2 plus 1. If you are feeling uh, um, difficulty with fractions, feel free to use a calculator. So plus x power 4 by 4 square. 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. 2 plus 1 by 2 is 5 by 2. And 2 factorial. If you want, you can write more terms. That will give you a very clear idea of what is happening. Okay, now I don't know if you still remember gamma from your first semester. If you want to evaluate gamma 5 by 2, the answer will be 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into root pi. Okay, I'll explain the trick. Suppose you want gamma 7 by 2. You start with 7 by 2 minus 1, that will be 5 by 2. Again reduce 1 again reduce 1 eventually you'll reach 1 by 2 and then what you do is you put root pi gamma 11 by 2 so you reduce 1 you get 9 by 2 times 7 by 2 times 3 by 2 times 1 by 2 times root pi with that uh, we will write this will be root x 
by this will be root 2 and this will be 1 by 2 root pi and on simplification what will you get x square divided by what is 2 into 3 3 factorial plus x power 4 divided by uh, these two will cancel 1 4 and what is the remaining thing can you see 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 so that's 5 factorial minus you know what's going to happen next it will be x power 6 by 7 factorial plus etc etc now look at this this looks do you remember the so easy formula sine will have odd power and the denominators will be 3 factorial 5 factorial 7 factorial cos will have even powers so if you look at this this looks so weird the numerator is 2 denominator is 3 so I'll do one trick I'm going to make this x so what I do is I can see one root x outside I'm going to convert this root x into x and that's very simple I'll multiply and divide by x this is a very very important step I'll multiply and divide by root x what happens to the numerator the numerator will become x divided by root 2 and this 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 root pi root x see the numerator became x and you will get the same expression ok so we take this x inside so we end up with so when you simplify it will become root 2 by root pi into root x and we get x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 4 by x power 5 by 5 factorial minus etc so we end up with root under 2 by pi x into tell me what is the so easy formula s o e c s o e c tells you sine will have what sort of powers odd so we get sin x now similarly you can try um, and find j minus 1 by 2x so we start similarly j n x is equal to uh, what's the formula a naught will be replaced by 2 power n into gamma n plus 1 and then 1 minus x squared by 4 into n plus 1 into 1 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 square into n plus 1 n plus 2 into 2 factorial minus x power 6 you can write as many terms as you like now what you do is you put n equal to minus 1 by 2 and simplify and I'll repeat the most 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 important step will be creating x outside so you can check it now in the next video, uh, we will we will work out j 3 by 2, j minus 3 by 2, j 5 by 2 and j minus 5 by 2. So till then my friends, bye.